Alright. Welcome to Very Best and everybody. Today we're gonna to introduce you to my sister, uh, Miss Watson. I know her from again from her husband, Rough Rider family is Hips. In any case, this is another uh, sister in the uh, sister. This is another sister in uniform. You know, she's serving the um, armed forces, so part of that one big family. And as always, this channel is about informing people not only about the people that are serving currently, but the vets. You know, and uh, getting, letting them tell their story on as far as what they did and you know the life they live in that career. So. I'm gonna give it over to my sister, let her tell you about herself, and we'll move on from there. I'm Sharita Watson. I served in the Air Force as um, came out as an E5 Staff Sergeant. I did nine years. My jobs were public health and command posts. I finished my career out as a public health apprentice. Um, I didn't travel too many places. I've gone from basic at Lackland tech school in Biloxi, Mississippi, and my second tech school was in San Antonio, Texas at Brooks Air Force Base. Um, and I've been stationed in Vance, Oklahoma in Enid, Warner Robins, Robins Air Force Base, and Altus, Oklahoma. So yeah, I've <laughs> <laughs> um, I did not know Mississippi had a base. They call it Keesley. Keesley. That's an Air Force base. Air Force base. Mm -hmm. I was like, I ain't never heard of an Army. And there's sure heard of a Navy base in Mississippi, not now. But, uh, you got an E5. Okay, so, nothing I did not know that an E5, which is what y'all call a staff sergeant, is just a regular sergeant. We're yeah. NCO. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, NCO. Yeah, like, y'all, E6. Tech sergeant. See? So, y'all don't have just a regular sergeant? No. <laughs> All right. Um, how was your boot camp life? Interesting. Um, it didn't, I, it wasn't a problem for me. I was used to it. Um, I had a strict mom, so for me, everything that they did there, it was like, yeah, okay. All right, so my question, um, I mean, so I'm gonna start about the Air Force. How often did y'all actually do PT? Every day. Every day. Every so y'all did like every morning. A mile run. Mm -hmm. That was it. No push ups, sit ups, crunches, all that. No, I'm saying what's the furthest you ever went? Um, we had to run a mile and a half. A mile and a half. Mm -hmm. That was it. Listen, <laughs> if you want something that's not so physically demanding, the Air Force is where it's at. True, but well, you know what the rest of the military really says about y'all. Mm -hmm. That's why I went to them. <laughs> <laughs> I um, wasn't the fit, most fit person, and but I did want a military career, so for me, the best choice was Air Force. And am I saying everybody in the Air Force is lazy? No, I'm saying that worked for me. Most of y'all are lazy. Don't do that. But most of y'all are. Mm -mm. I disagree. We're just smart. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, y'all win the big bros there. Uh, if y'all in the fight. Gotcha. Okay. Um, before we <laughs> we finish it up, because she really, she told you her whole story. Um, my sister also sells jewelry. Um, I think. Paparazzi oh, accessories. There you go. I'll let her tell you all about it. It's lead and nickel free. All pieces are $5. All necklaces come with matching earrings. Um, and it's pretty much... You get new pieces in every Monday through Friday, so either you, you get it or you don't. Once it's gone, it's gone. It doesn't come back around. There are a couple, there's some that they call blockbusters that are um, popular, so they do stick around, but most of our pieces are, once you get them, once they're sold out, they're gone. So if you're interested, you can reach out to me. Um, I have a Facebook page, Sharita's Bling Boutique. And I also have a website, it's sharitasbling.com, and my name is spelled S-H-A-R-I-T-T-A. -T -T -A. The military taught her how to talk that proper. 
<laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah come on out you know what I'm saying see my sister and to let you know she is the wife of Slim so she's part of the R family you know she's sister and like she don't carry the R but she's a <laughs> she's part of the family it is what it is and we look out for her just as well as she looks out for us mostly but <laughs> Um, I guess in closing, I ask if for the civilians who've never served and doesn't understand the military and how we are, what advice would you give to them? Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's, it's tough it, to be not only in the military, but the spouse of a military member. Um, it, that's that's a tough pill to swallow and you got to be ready for it if that's what you're gonna do because with deployments I've never deployed my career but my husband has and it was very tough being a part so I would say just if you see a vet think of it because it, you, you don't understand what we've gone through and what we've sacrificed to try to make this country a better place and I mean, regardless of who is our president, we like them or not, we still have to answer to them. And keep our mouth shut about political views. So again, where you guys are out there freely saying what you want, those that are actively serving can't get up, say all of that, and can't be out there as open as those of us that aren't actively serving anymore because they're risking getting themselves in trouble just, to, just for that freedom of speech that they're currently fighting for. Okay, okay. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, because I know you know, press for time. So, if there was something for anybody thinking of joining and in in beginning a career in our armed forces, what advice would you give them? Make sure you do your research and that you are confident in the branch that you choose. Make sure you do your research and that you choose the exact job you want. Don't let nobody talk you into um, any ridiculousness because sometimes you can get stuck in a career that you don't want. So basically, line... Do your research. <laughs> okay. okay. The point of a recruiter is to sell. They're like car salesmen for the military. Do your research. 24, um, because how, how my recruiter got me in. That's good advice, very good advice. <laughs> well, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment on anything you would like to see or know or ask. Uh, answers are out there for you, you know, as far as the military or veteran side of things if you wanna know. But in any case, veteran Baxter, we love you. And hopefully we'll get her to go fishing also. That's a plan. <laughs> that is a good plan. But we're out. Check it.